If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified on every new upload. Assalamu alaikum. Let us see the eight changes in the mandible and the TMJ. So at birth, you can find that the mandibular body, this is the entire mandibular body. It will be in two halves and they will be separated by symphysis in the midline and a thin line of fibrocartilage and connective tissue exist here at the midline and they separate the right and the left mandibular body. Now this symphysial cartilage is replaced by bone between the age of four month and by the end of first year. So between the four months and one year this cartilage is replaced by bone. Now at birth if you look at the side view of the mandible you can see that the rami is quite short and the condylar development is minimal. Now coming on to the bone growth. So generally all the surface of the mandible they will show bone apposition means there will be deposition of bone but specially it will be at the alveolar border alveolar border it will be at the superior surface of ramus and at the distal surface of ramus it will be at the condylar region and also it will be at the lower border and the lateral surface of the body of the mandible now let's have a look at the position of mandibular foramen if we consider this to be the occlusal plane then we can find that the foramen is below the occlusal plane in a very young child it will be here somewhere here and it will be slightly at the occlusal plane during the period of primary dentition and by the time you become adult it will be 7 mm above the occlusal plane it will be around 7 mm above the occlusal plane. Now let's talk about the angle of the mandible angle this. So in newborn child this angle is obtuse but as you become adult this angle will decrease. Now if we talk about the mental foramen this was the mandibular foramen we were talking about but if we talk about the position of the mental foramen it will be near the border at birth and in adults it will be somewhere here but in old age when there is resorption of the bone alveolar bone it will again come near the surface so this was about the position of the mental foramen now let's have a quick recap so we studied about the symphysis that at birth the mandibular body is divided by divided at the symphysial region and there is a cartilage there which is replaced by bone between the age of four months to one year. We also studied about the bone opposition. More bone was deposited at the alveolar border, distal and superior surface of ramus and also the lower border and the lateral surface of the mandible. We also talked about the mandibular foramen. It was below the occlusal plane in very young child slightly at the occlusal plane during the period of primary dentition and 7 mm above the occlusal plane in adult and the mental foramen it was near the border at birth and it goes above in the adulthood and again when the teeth will go off or shed off and the bone will resolve it will again come to the upper border it will seem to be superficially positioned and the angle of mandible it was obtuse in very young child or at birth and the angle will decrease as you grow more all right so this was about the mandibular changes now let's come to the tmj so the development of tmj it happens in three steps one is the seven to eight weeks so at this time there is organization of the condyle articular disc and the capsule 
and that is called as the blastemic stage blastemic stage then we have at 9 to 11 weeks of development there will be the formation of inferior joint cavity and there will be start of the cartilage formation so that is called the cavitation stage cavitation stage then by 12 weeks there will be maturation so it is called the maturation stage maturation stage so we have the blastemic stage the cavitation stage and maturation stage at the blastemic stage there was organization of condyle articular disc and at the cavitation stage there were formation of inferior joint cavity and there was start of cartilage formation cartilage of the condyle we are talking about that and at 12 weeks there is maturation okay now let us see the postnatal changes so these were the prenatal changes let us see the postnatal after the birth so at birth the articular disc will be somewhat flat but with time it will change to an s shape and the condylar cartilage it will be around 1.5 mm thick so the thickness will be 1.5 mm thick but soon it will become thin to about 0.5 mm and by the time you turn 20 to 30 years it will be completely replaced by endochondral ossification so first it was 1.5 then 0.5 and then by the age of 20 30 it will be replaced by endochondral ossification also this mandibular condyle it will grow and that growth is in the posterior and superior direction and by the time you get to the late mixed dentition period it will be in its mature phase okay so this was about the eight changes in the mandible and tmj i hope you found the video helpful if yes do let me know in the comment section below thanks for watching allah face